Good evening. Deep beneath Eastern California, a giant is stirring the Long Valley Caldera, one of Earth's largest supervolcanoes. Recent data shows accelerating magma movement under the surface, raising global concerns. This isn't just a local issue, an eruption here could disrupt air travel, impact climate and threaten hundreds of thousands. Scientists are monitoring every tremor and ground shift, trying to decipher what comes next. The question isn't if Long Valley will erupt again, but when, and what the current signs mean. For local communities, this is a direct threat. For the world, it's a test of preparedness. The USGS has ramped up monitoring, tracking the ground's every move in real time. Tonight, we break down the science, the risks, and what's at stake for everyone living in the shadow of a supervolcano. Let's dive into the story beneath our feet. To truly grasp the risks we face today, we must first journey back in time and explore the dramatic events that shaped this landscape. The story of Long Valley is one of immense power, ancient cataclysms, and ongoing scientific discovery. The Long Valley Caldera was created by a super eruption 760,000 years ago, an event so colossal, it dwarfed even the infamous 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. Imagine an explosion thousands of times more powerful, altering the land and climate for generations. That ancient blast ejected an astonishing 150 cubic miles of volcanic material into the atmosphere, sending clouds of ash across the western United States. Ash from this eruption has been discovered as far away as Nebraska, over a thousand miles from the caldera itself, a testament to the eruption's sheer magnitude. Today the caldera's vast, sunken depression stands as a silent witness to that ancient violence. Its sweeping basin stretching for miles, is a constant reminder of the forces that once reshaped this region in a matter of days. But the story didn't end there. Since that super eruption, the volcanic system has remained active, producing smaller eruptions over the millennia. The most recent occurred just 600 years ago forming the Mano Inyo craters, a chain of volcanic vents that still dot the landscape, evidence of the caldera's restless nature. In 1980, a new chapter of unrest began. A series of earthquakes and noticeable ground swelling caught the attention of scientists and local residents alike. The United States Geological Survey, or USGS, responded by issuing a hazard notice, warning that the caldera was showing signs of renewed activity. Since then, Long Valley has experienced repeated cycles of ground inflation and deflation. These subtle rises and falls in the Earth's surface are closely monitored by scientists, who remain vigilant for any signs of increased volcanic risk. In the last two years, however, the pace of ground uplift has accelerated, and seismic activity has shifted in both frequency and location. These changes have raised new questions and concerns among experts, prompting a fresh wave of research and monitoring. Today, volcanologists are re-examining Long Valley's violent past, digging into ancient ash layers and core samples to better understand the patterns of unrest. Is this just another cycle in the caldera's long history? Or could it be a warning sign of something much larger on the horizon? The caldera's turbulent history serves as a stark reminder. This volcanic system is far from dormant. Its past is filled with dramatic upheavals, and its future remains uncertain. By studying the past, scientists hope to better predict the risks we face today and prepare for whatever the future may hold in Long Valley. The latest data coming in from the Long Valley Observatory is raising significant alarms among the scientific community. Researchers are working around the clock, closely monitoring every shift and tremor as the situation appears to be evolving rapidly. According to the most recent GPS and seismic network readings, the resurgent dome at the heart of the caldera has risen nearly 10 inches since early 2024. This is the fastest rate of uplift observed since the 1980s, and it's a clear sign that something unusual is happening beneath the surface. The ground itself is moving and scientists are paying close attention to these changes. In addition to the dome's uplift, earthquake swarms are now being detected at much shallower depths than before, just two to three miles below the surface. These swarms are not isolated events, they are happening more frequently and with greater intensity, suggesting that the Earth's crust is being stressed by forces from below. Dr. Benjamin Andrews of the USGS has pointed out that the seismic activity is not only increasing, but also migrating upward. This pattern is often interpreted as a sign that new magma is intruding into shallower chambers beneath the caldera, pushing its way closer to the surface and increasing the risk of future eruptions. 
gas monitoring stations near Mammoth Mountain have also detected a 15% increase in carbon dioxide emissions since January 2025. This spike in volcanic gas is significant, as it often accompanies the movement of magma and can be a precursor to eruptive activity. Scientists are now conducting more frequent gas sampling to track these changes in real time. When you put all these signals together, rapid ground uplift, shallow and frequent earthquake swarms, and increased volcanic gas emissions, they paint a compelling picture of a volcanic system under mounting pressure. Each indicator alone might not be cause for immediate concern, but their combination is what has scientists on high alert. No single data point is enough to trigger panic, but the convergence of these warning signs shows that Long Valley is becoming increasingly dynamic and unstable. The scientific community is now collaborating more closely than ever, sharing data and expertise to better understand what might happen next. As a result of these developments, as of August 2025, the official volcano alert level has been raised to watch or orange. This is a significant escalation, indicating that the potential for an eruption has increased and that the situation is being taken very seriously by authorities. This elevated alert level means there is now heightened volcanic unrest and a greater chance of eruptive activity in the near future. Local communities are being urged to stay informed and prepared as the situation could change quickly. The situation has now become a matter of public safety, with local authorities and emergency services working together to ensure that residents and visitors are aware of the risks and know what steps to take should the volcano's activity escalate further. What does this all mean? For geologists, these are classic signs of a magmatic intrusion. New, hotter magma is rising from deep below, pooling in a shallower reservoir and pressurizing the chamber. This causes the ground to bulge and triggers thousands of small earthquakes. The most likely outcome is a failed eruption. The magma stalls and cools underground, but a small or moderate eruption or even a steam-driven explosion is now a real possibility. While a super eruption remains unlikely, volcanic systems are unpredictable. The current unrest is a warning, the system can change rapidly. That's why the watch alert is so critical. The science is sobering, but the human impact is even more so. Mammoth lakes and the surrounding region rely on tourism, with billions at stake. Even the watch alert can cause tourists to cancel, businesses to suffer, and real estate to falter. A small eruption could devastate the area. Ashfall, pyroclastic flows, and blocked roads would threaten lives and livelihoods. Highway 395, the main escape route, could be cut off, complicating evacuation. Ash clouds could disrupt air travel and damage crops across California. Water supplies for millions, including Los Angeles, could be contaminated. The economic and logistical challenges would ripple far beyond the caldera. To truly understand the risks facing the Long Valley caldera, we need to start with the USGS hazard maps. These maps are more than just colorful graphics. They are the result of years of scientific research, careful monitoring, and complex modeling. They help us visualize the invisible threats lurking beneath the surface, translating raw data into something we can see and act upon. The most dangerous areas highlighted in deep red blanket the caldera floor and mammoth mountain. These are the zones where the risk of eruption, lava flows, and pyroclastic surges is highest. In the event of an eruption, rapid evacuation from these regions would be absolutely essential to save lives. But the threat doesn't stop at the caldera's edge. Ashfall forecast maps reveal how volcanic ash could be carried by prevailing winds, blanketing areas far beyond the eruption site. Depending on wind direction, ash could drift across Nevada, Utah, and even reach as far as Southern California, disrupting air travel, contaminating water supplies, and impacting millions. These visualizations make it clear, an eruption's impact would ripple outward, affecting communities hundreds of miles away. Cities that seem distant from the caldera could still face significant hazards from ashfall to infrastructure disruptions. Ground deformation charts provide another crucial piece of the puzzle. They track the caldera's subtle breathing, the slow rise and fall of the land as magma moves below. Recently, these charts have shown a dramatic uptick in uplift, signaling increased underground activity. For scientists, this is a visual alarm bell, a warning that the volcanic system may be entering a new, more active phase. It's a sign that close monitoring and rapid response planning are more important than ever. Emergency planners use these maps to overlay critical infrastructure, roads, towns, hospitals, and schools on top of hazard zones. This helps them pinpoint the most vulnerable areas and develop targeted evacuation and response strategies. 
One major concern is the region's reliance on Highway 395 as the primary evacuation route. If this road becomes blocked or overwhelmed, thousands could be trapped in harm's way, underscoring a critical weakness in current emergency plans. These maps transform abstract scientific data into a very real human challenge. How do you move tens of thousands of people to safety, quickly and efficiently, when every minute counts? The logistics are daunting, and the stakes couldn't be higher. The message from the data is unmistakable. Preparation isn't just important, it's urgent. Every new data point adds to the call for readiness. The story of the Caldera's future is being written right now, in real time. Our actions today, how we prepare, plan, and respond, will shape what happens when the next chapter unfolds. To break down the science, we turn to Dr. Evelyn Reed, volcanologist at Caltech. Dr. Reed compares the magma chamber to a giant underground water balloon. New magma is being pumped in, stretching the crust above. GPS stations track this swelling showing the system is under increasing pressure. The earthquakes? Think of the crust cracking as the balloon expands. Each crack is a small quake now happening closer to the surface. This means the pressure is affecting shallower rock, raising the risk. Dr. Reed cautions, volcanoes aren't machines, we can't predict them with certainty. Scientists are like doctors monitoring a patient. Vital signs are worsening, but the outcome isn't guaranteed. The job is to watch the signs relentlessly and warn the public as soon as possible. Uncertainty is part of the process but vigilance saves lives. The message stay alert not alarmed. With the alert level raised, preparedness is the priority. FEMA and state agencies are updating emergency plans, pre-positioning supplies, and ensuring communication is clear. Local officials are running drills and public campaigns to educate residents about evacuation routes and go-bags. Infrastructure is under review, especially Highway 395 and the Los Angeles Aqueduct. Lawmakers are fast-tracking plans for secondary escape routes and hardening critical systems. Ultimately, personal preparedness is key. Know the hazard zones, sign up for alerts, and have a plan. Community resilience depends on everyone taking the risk seriously. We've explored the restless giant beneath California, the Long Valley Caldera. The ground is swelling, the earth is trembling, and the risk is real. Scientists have raised the alert, not to incite panic but to urge preparation. The challenge is to stay vigilant, not alarmed. Enhanced monitoring and emergency planning are our best defenses. This story will unfold over months and years. Our response must be informed and steady. Support science, trust the experts, and make your own emergency plan. The caldera's stirring is a call to action, engage, learn and prepare. Respect the power beneath our feet, and be ready to adapt. Thank you for watching.